Hi there, and welcome to Dreamkeeper. So, if you've already subscribed, thanks a lot, really means a lot. And if you're new here, or you've not subscribed, can you just give me a wee subscribe? Helps me out, helps the channel out, helps us grow. But anyway, moving on. <clears throat> so this one is a theory that I have. I'm not sure if, if anybody else does or that, but it's definitely one I have. And it basically is an AI god, well, is an AI alien god using technology to steal your soul and your consciousness. And uh, obviously I'm going to explain this. So basically the theory is that back in World War II, when they set off the, the nuclear bomb, that alerted an alien presence because like when, when a nuclear explosion goes off it sends ripples through like time and space so it would have emanated out through the earth through space and through the universe because it's like a it's like a cosmic event like a like the split in the atom so it just ripples out so basically that that alerted an AI alien presence and then like the Roswell crash happened just right after it so people people call it a crash that the people in the govern, government now they call them donations because if they're that advanced they're not going to fly across the universe and then crash into earth so they call it donations it, so it's like it's been donated to humanity for the aliens but what i'm saying is it could be like it could be like a virus or it could just be like an alien ai presence uh, and what it does is it, it's like using us or infecting us and like we like if you think about it if it was if it was a virus then we are more and more we're being infected with it because like we're wearing like watches and we've got phones and we're people wear the uh, VR headsets and you're getting implants in your brain and all this kind of stuff and it's just going to be more and more even with the, the internet we feed the internet lots of data that makes the internet work people's called the internet an alien presence before and with AI that's basically feeds off data so like we create the data through our lives through our like memories and our posts on social media and our interactions on the internet and stuff uh, like videos like this we make and stuff so we're feeding the AI so the, the theory is that is, is that like an alien presence like that we, we feed off like the sun and like we drink water and eat food but if it's technological we're biological but if it's technological and like uh, digital kind of base then it would feed off like information data kind of like what it is what the ai is doing now so basically it's like infected humanity and more and more we're just becoming well like it's stealing like our soul and our our consciousness and we're feeding it and people talk about like how we'll all be like uh, uploaded to the ai in the future if you think about 10 years ago, like the technology we had then, like was still quite a lot, but it's like even just for 10 years ago to now, it's like completely different. It was like, it's so advanced. And then 10 years from now in the future, what will it be like? Well, we'll all be like cyborgs and people will be like uploading their cell to the cloud and all kind of things like that. So. That is quite a wild theory, but it's, to me it's plausible because if you think we are just feeding this, like nobody knows how it's going to turn out. People that were working on the AI and stuff initially thought it would help and solve all humanity's problems, but now a lot of them are walking away and raising alarm bells saying that it could end up destroying us. So it's, it's pretty unclear, isn't it, like what way it'll go. Maybe it'll be a bit of both. Maybe it'll be one way, maybe it'll be the other way, maybe it'll be none of the ways. We, don't, we just don't know, but 
to me, like it seems interesting that because people do believe that when the, the Roswell crash or a donation happened, techno technology boomed after that. Lots of stuff were in, like was invented just like in the, the, the few years after that. So a lot of people already connect that to saying that when that when the government got their hands on that craft, then they started re-engineering stuff and then coming out with things first for the military and then for like consumers. So people already connect that bit to it. I'm just going a bit further. Whereas if it was like a, an AI alien god or an AI alien presence that fed off data and stuff, then like we're basically like we're giving it everything it wants. Like more and more our lives are dictated by like AI and stuff. And in the future, AI will probably run in everything. So, like, it will take over humanity. And like I say, if people start downloading their brain and their consciousness into it, then it, it's, it's basically like a virus. It, t it consumes you. And then it's, it, like, it's fed off us. And then it'll move on to the next kind of world or civilization or whatever. Uh, so to me, it's really interesting. There's another part to it, like I think Joe Rogan goes on about it. I think it's like his theory that this could be how it is anyway. This, we could be like the, the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. So because we're like a, we could be like a universal consciousness and uh, we need the data and we need the experiences, not, not us personally, but the conscious, the universal consciousness. So we could like, this could be like a cycle where we we basically evolve and create experiences and data because everybody's seeing a different experience and creating different data and eventually we create technology then for there we create like AI and then we feed that up and then it overtakes everything turning into like the, the butterfly basically and then like it restarts again so it could also be that but to me, like a lot of technology does seem like a, an alien kind of presence. Because uh, it is, it's, it's just so, so advanced compared to like where we were. And it's just, it went so fast. So to me, there's, there's definitely something there. And the fact that like mental health and stuff is all skyrocketing. And it's all because of using like social media all the time and everybody's glued to screens and we're basically like feeding it our soul and that's why we're getting like unbalanced like with our mental health and stuff because like we're getting it all away and it's it's affecting our like mindset and our health and stuff so it's to me it's a really interesting theory i don't know what people think about it but like i say in 10 year time everybody will all be chipped and goggles and watches even the watches they can tell like your heartbeat and your heart rate and your pulse and they can tell if you're nervous or anxious or excited or even if, if you meet somebody they can tell if you like that person or if you don't just be your your heart rate and your pulse and stuff so as it's all consuming and where does it end it ends with all of us uploading ourselves to the the digital consciousness so to me, that's, that seems like that would be the final outcome if it was a virus or a, a, an alien presence that was trying, trying to like consume humanity, that, that would be the end, the end game either way. And that's, that's the way it seems to be going. So to me, it's, it's a really interesting theory, interesting to topic. I'd, I'd be interested to see what, what you think. Do you think the same or do you think it's just a lot of nonsense? Or, do you think it's plausible? Do you think it's not? If you could uh, leave comments and get a wee interaction going, tell me what, if you have a theory, maybe it differs from mine. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you disagree with me. But uh, it's, it's, to me, it's a relevant topic, especially right here and now, in this day and age. I feel we're at a kind of tipping point and stuff. 
So it'd be a good discussion and a good debate to spark and to have. So that's it. The, is a AI, alien god stealing your soul and your consciousness? You decide and you let me know. But uh, that's that for this one. And again, if you're not subscribed, just give me a wee subscribe. And thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.